then today I actually bought a hundred plus machines. So even though it's deja vu, I've doubled what I did in my first video. Here's the trailer. And it's full of machines back there. And in the bed of the truck, also full of machines. I actually have the stands right here. Oh, I gotta clean a few of them up. I got a few here. A few of them up. I got a few here. Bunch of older machines. And they just been sitting up on somebody's garage patio. So now they collected a lot of dust. And I'm going to clean them up, get them right, and get them ready to put out. Okay, so here's the machine my cousin gave me. And here are my new stands that I got. Got a few machines down there. This one here I don't have a key to, so I'm going to have to drill it open. There are some quarters in there, so I'm going to find out what's in there too. Maybe I get lucky. That looks like it's been sitting around for a while. Maybe i find me a nice old quarter in there. <clears throat> Got a long one here. A couple round ones, different ones. Different kinds of machines. So I keep you posted as I get them stacked up. Well, I had to clear out some space here so that I could fit all my new stuff and I'm out here bringing it in trying to figure out where I'm gonna put everything well I didn't get them all in here but I got half of them probably sitting out on the underneath my pergola on my patio out there but I decided to come in and get to work on some other things I have over here a whole stack of keys so it's gonna be fun going through all these keys and I'm gonna put them in this little container here <clears throat> that's gonna fit perfect so I gotta separate my keys got a couple bags here I'm gonna put them in there once I separate them that way I know what goes to what. If I want to individually sell any of these machines, I have keys for them. So that's going to be fun checking all those. <clears throat> and I still have to go back to the location that I got these. And it's still about probably 25 more machines and a box full of stuff that I have to go and pick up. So it lets you know just how many machines this is. It's really it's a lot of machines and it takes up a lot of space and I still didn't even unload the trailer I just unloaded the back of the truck so yeah I'm about to get to work on a few things over here but you know what's the great thing about all these machines that I bought is I didn't have to spend any of my own money like I did with my initial investment because the profits that I've been making from my last purchase of vending machines it's now pay it to the point that it's paying off. I have enough machines out that they're paying off and I've saved up a lot of money just from those machines and I was able to purchase these machines. So instead of going and spending the money that I made, I'm actually just investing it right back into my business to keep it growing. Okay, so I'm sitting here going through my machines, going through my keys and all this stuff that I have. And I showed you this one earlier. That This is a beaver machine over here, but I, the lady said she didn't have a key for it. So I'm going to have to drill it out unless I find one in this puzzle of keys I have here. It's like a needle in a haystack. And over here I have two other machines. These are kind of cool. Let me take this off the stand here. Tic Tac machines. They sell the whole little pack of Tic Tacs. So these I believe are the master keys to all of them. That's what the lady said. So I won't have to go through that whole puzzle. So I'm going to work on these first. Let me try this big one here. Oh man. Beginner's luck. Let's see what we have here. I have to throw all this stuff away. 
but we'll make sure we hold on to these clips. All this stuff has to be scrubbed and washed out. I'm going to check the other machine too. But next, I'm going to try to drill the lock on the beaver machine. Here we go. Looks like an old one on top. We'll pull them out and see what we have. This is a 1963 quarter.